Hello everybody and welcome back to the Be Land of Victory podcast. This is episode 27 and we'll get going. So uh, we'll quickly recap the game against Houston and then we'll go right into the game tonight against Texas A&M in the Sweet 16. Uh, game details, keys, and my pick. So the other night Michigan defeated Houston on a miraculous Jordan Poole buzzer beater to win it. I came on and I was I was very excited. I couldn't believe it. I thought they were done for, and uh, very fortunate that Houston missed those free throws. Didn't play well at all. Didn't shoot well. The defense was the only thing that kept us in the game. Duncan Robinson was huge early, keeping us in it, and uh, Jordan Poole bailed us out at the end. That's our mulligan right there. That's our mulligan. So, I mean, we have to be able to play better if we're going to expect to keep winning in this tournament. Uh, but you got to make shots like that if you're going to win a tournament. That's a big-time shot from Jordan Poole. Um, after the game, celebrations are great to watch. It was it was fantastic. Uh, not to mention that Michigan State and Ohio State both lost last weekend. Michigan State got embarrassed by Syracuse, and Ohio State just overpowered by Gonzaga. All right, so tonight it's 7.37 on TBS in L.A., Michigan will face Texas A&M Aggies. Um, Texas A&M is a very good team, and it is a bad matchup. Uh, they just beat North Carolina by 20. We lost to them by 20. Uh, They're also a very big team. Uh, rebounding is going to be huge in this game. Uh, for Michigan, they're not big at all. And, I mean, it's going to be tough for them to hang with Texas A&M inside and in the paint. Um they got to stay close in that in that side of the game. Uh, it's it's going to be a tough one. And this, if they keep advancing, I think this would be the toughest game until they got the championship if they kept advancing just because of the matchup and how hot this team is right now. So I don't, I really don't like it at all. I don't like the matchup. Uh, I'm not confident. But um, I think this team is going to have motivation with how badly they've played in the last couple games. And where, where people are ranking them, um, ESPN ranked them 15th of the teams left. I mean, are you kidding me? That's horrendous. That, I mean, that's awful. That's just awful. Um, I think they're going to be motivated. I think they're going to go out and play very, very well tonight. And they're going to need to play very, very well to win this game. Texas A&M is a good team. So a couple keys to the game. Um, definitely have to stay close in the rebounding column. That is the most important if we are close in that, we will win. If we are really out-rebounded and we just have no match for them on the boards, we are not going to win this game. That is their strength. We have to control it. Definitely got to shoot well to make up for their bigs down low. Be able to shoot the three well, which we did not do against Houston or Montana for that matter. So we need to be able to do that. Um, and John Teske off the bench. Biggest guy on the team. He's seven foot one. Definitely needs to be a presence in this game in order for us to win. Because he has to have an impact on their bigs down low. Must have an impact. Um, if that doesn't happen, they're not going to win the game. They have to complete all three of these keys to win this game. Absolutely have to. Um, Texas A&M is not a team to be messed with. Very hot right now, and they're a good team. So, my pick, I am going to pick Michigan to win. Uh, my pick was 73-68. I think it's going to be very close. Uh, I think the offenses, offenses will open up in the second half, and I think they'll be able to pull away. But um, I'm not confident in this. But, I mean, we'll see. Just a couple other tournament notes before we go. Uh, the winner of the A&M Michigan game will play the winner of Gonzaga and Florida State. Uh, also tonight, Loyola, Chicago, and Nevada. Oh, no, that's not tonight. But other games, um, Loyola, Chicago, Nevada, Nevada do play tonight. Kentucky and Kansas State also play tonight. Tomorrow, Kansas um, Kansas will play tomorrow. Villanova will play West Virginia. Purdue, Texas Tech. Duke, Syracuse. Um, so it's a big couple of days for college basketball. As a whole, and then and the NCAA really needs this to go well, and they need to get a couple of teams that were expected 
to be good into the Final Four, or else there's going to be... There aren't, I mean, having Michigan State go out early, having Virginia go out early, having Xavier go out early, it's not going to help the ratings as we get farther into this tournament for the NCAA. I think they might be hoping for teams with higher seeds like Michigan, Kansas, Villanova, Kentucky to get to the Final Four at this point. Teams that everybody knows of with a lot of fans and big fan bases. Uh, so I think that's really, that's going to be on the NCAA. It's, it's going to be on their minds uh, this weekend on all throughout the weekend. All right, well, that's going to do it. Um, I will be back on Friday regardless of a win or a loss. Hopefully it's recapping a win. If not, we'll recap the loss. Uh, if they do win, we'll also give a preview of the next game. And uh, hopefully by the end of the weekend we're cutting down the nets, but we'll see. Well, thank you for watching, and subscribe.